I guess the news is not stopping today. I guess it's just not stopping. Welcome, everybody. If you're just tuning in, this is the third transaction that the Jets are making. But I've also had to cover eight transactions of people leaving. So this is video 11. If you've watched all the videos, that's awesome. That is that is so nice. If you left a like on all the videos, that's even better. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. I didn't expect this at all. Colin Miller re-signed with the Winnipeg Jets for two years at $1.5 million. I'm going to be honest with you. Colin Miller was one of the last people that I expected to re-sign with the Winnipeg Jets of the, the pending UFAs. He was the last guy I expected. I'm like, maybe other guys were him. He, I only had him above Tyler Toffoli and Lauren Brassois on how positive I was that he was not going to re-sign here. I didn't think he liked it here. I thought he was annoyed that he got no minutes, that they didn't play him, and that he felt it wasn't a good fit. Whatever the hell do I know, he liked it here. Um, or at least he likes what the direction of the team is. He signs for two years at $1.5 million. That is tidy, tidy work. The Jets have a lot of cap still to work around the RFA market that they have and to make possible trades. I like this. I like him as a player. I liked him in the minutes he got in game five. Everyone was like, why the fuck has he not been playing? He's so good compared to most of your defensemen. Um, he is. He's a good veteran like option. And I like that. Honestly, if he could flip roles with um, Neil Pionk and Neil Pionk could be in the third pair, and he could go up to the second pair. I would like that a lot more. I really would. I'd really enjoy it. Um, that's kind of a pipe dream, though. Um, but it's good. Like, there's a lot of spots open on this team for youth. And I like that. That makes me relieved and excited. Today's been a long day. <laughs> And I'm really surprised about how much has been, how has got done, but also how much has not got done. There are things that I'm like, you know what, this is going to probably happen today. And it's, it's such a Chevy way. Chevy's like, oh, you think a trade's coming? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you think an Ehlers extension is coming? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you think Rutger and McGordy's getting traded or doing anything? Uh, uh, uh. Nothing. None of that sort. It was just Eric Comrie, re Eric Comrie signed. Capo Kakinen signed to have a, um, what's it called? A competitive edge in who will be the backup goaltender. And then they just tidy up a loose end on the back end. Good for them, though. It was a good day at the office. Um, a lot of dumb contracts got handed out today, and the Jets didn't fall for that. And I'm happy about that. Let me know down below your thoughts on the day. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time which could either be in three days or three hours. Who the hell knows?